Welcome to day 79 of my 100 days of Wi-Fi journey. Today we're going to go over how I built this auto-rotating tab section on Webflow. So I built this long time ago, but I've recently got a comment on how this was built. And I'm going to go through this code, the way I've built this, the logic behind it, and how you can clone this and customize this. I'm going to leave the clonable for you in the description below. Let's go through it. Let's see it in action. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wi-Fi journey. Let's go. All right, so let's have a look at this. Now, this is basically a tab section. So this is a full page tab section that auto rotates every five seconds. So if you can see here, every five seconds, it just goes to the next tab. Uh, each tab has a background video that shows. And then when you click on the video, it just opens the video in a light box manner. Uh, there is a menu, but we're not going to discuss the menu today. So I'm just quickly going to go through the tab section. Now, there is a tab section. As we said, this is a full page tab section, not 100 view height, 100 view width. Uh, there is the tab menu, which are these three tab links. Inside each tab menu, there is a line. And now this line basically animates through Webflow interactions. So when the tab is changed, so there is an interaction, one tab change, the line needs to grow in size for a duration of five seconds. So if you can see this, this is a duration of five seconds, the line is growing in size. Simultaneously, I'm using this custom code, which I'm gonna leave for you as well in the description, or you can clone this and find the custom code here. Now this custom code starts from here, so maybe we can comment this and say, um, tab auto rotator and then let's comment it out okay so this is the section that we need to copy uh, so basically we're pushing a tab timeout so to loop the tabs so this is the tabs menu make sure you have this class um, referred to correctly this is the tabs menu the parent element of the links and then we're targeting the first one and then going to the next one each time uh, this timeout feature um, you know plays out which is every five seconds 5000 milliseconds so that's five seconds uh, you need to also make sure that you have the tab link uh, class also called out correctly so you can call it here again the tab link if you change that class just make sure to refer back to it in the custom code so that everything works fine uh, you can adjust this duration, let's say you want it for 3 seconds, you want it for 20 seconds, so you can adjust this duration from here, and then once everything is done, you can click save, and then you can publish. Now you can't see the changes on the actual designer, so you'll need to publish and see the changes on the live site. Now that's basically it, uh, pretty straightforward. Now there's, there are many creative ways of doing auto-rotating tabs. Now this is just one of them. Uh, I know I've seen a lot on the internet, on YouTube, but this is the most common one. It's very easy to use, uh, simple, doesn't load, doesn't affect your load time, doesn't affect your page speed, super useful. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafflet journey. See you tomorrow.